you just sit right down. How come we can't take God at his word? How come we can't take him at his word? I don't understand people. And I've told God this many times. Lord, I don't understand people. God has been so good to Kenneth Rogers. And I will boast. And I will glory in the Lord. I don't glory and boast in no man. I glory and boast in him. Because God is a good God. And not only, he's not a respected person. I don't know why people, and people who call themselves Christians, I really don't understand them at all. I really don't. They murmur, they complain, they gossip, they backbite, and they say they love Jesus. And I look at the body of Christ, and you look at the kingdom of God, uh, kingdom of Satan, the kingdom of Satan is more together than the body of Christ. He don't have that in his kingdom of Satan, though. But the body of Christ got all that strife and content the Bible talks about. If you have ought against somebody, when you stand praying to forgive, and yet people walk around with grudges and unforgiveness in the heart and bitterness in the heart, and they wonder why they're sick, because they open the door to Satan. Let me tell you something, when you open the door to Satan, he has a right to attack you. He has a right to attack you. I hear people say about Job, well, the thing that happened to Job, the thing that he feared came upon him. Fear, when fear comes in, faith goes out. You can't be in fear and faith at the same time. When fear comes in, faith goes out. The God I serve is a faith God. And his word is true. His word will not return back to him void. He says in his word in Isaiah, I believe it's the 43rd chapter, around the 25th and 26th verse, he said, I even I am, that brought up that transgressions and won't remember them. Then he says in 20, he said, put me in remembrance, put him in remembrance of his word. When you go to God, do you go to God with his word or you go to him hoping and praying? Do you know that it is a commandment to study the word of God? It's not an option. It is a commandment to study the word of God. When Satan comes in, you can belly it and cry all you want. And guess what? If you don't stand up against him and with the word of God, he's going to go up one side and right down the other. How did Jesus Christ, the son of the living God, defeat the devil? It is written. The same way he defeated Satan, that's the same way we defeat him. It is written. It is written. It is written. It is written. Tears don't move God. Okay? Needs don't move God. It's only one thing that moved God Almighty. That's faith. Even when the blind men, they came to Jesus and wanted healing. Jesus said, do you believe I can do this? They said, yeah, Lord. Then he said, let it be according to your faith. The woman with the issue of blood. She said, if I only could test the hem of this garment, I'd be male. It was her faith. And he said, daughter, thy faith hath made you whole. There's something I do right now. I don't know about anybody, but I, what I pray with, what I use when I pray is called a talit, a prayer shawl. I used to think a long time ago when you're reading the Bible about when you pray, you go into the closet and shelter. That doesn't mean that. Your prayer shawl is your talit. Okay? Those that pray and seek with God will reward you openly. And it works. On the talit, you have four tassels. The woman who got healed of the issue of blood, she touched one of those. And Jesus said, virtue went out of me. Let me tell you something. I have found that I have to go back over the scriptures and stand in front of it because a lot of things I've found that even that's taught in the church is not even scriptural. It's not even scriptural. I used to teach, I used to thought, I was taught in the church there were three heavens. There's several heavens if you check it out. Don't, like I said, don't take my word from it. There are several, not just three, there's several, several of them, okay? The word law, L-A-W, you see in the Bible, that should not be, there should be Torah, meaning Teaching and instruction. Now, I'm just about to close right now, but I want to say this to you, that those, again, who don't know Christ, open up your heart. Open up your heart and receive Jesus Christ, because this could be your last day. This could be your last day on planet Earth. I don't know. But I do know one thing, that you can't outgive God. Everything doesn't come back from God in dollars and cents. Like in your health, your family, there's many ways God blesses you. In 3 John 2, write it down. He said, Beloved, I wish above all things that thou mayest prosper and be in health, even as thy soul prospered. That's what he said. You notice he mentioned prosperity before health? When your soul prospers, you will prosper. Okay? You will prosper. And like I said before, there's so many Christians in the church that are broke. They're broke. And it's sad. And God wants you to be prosperous. God wants you to be prosperous.